Nina! I keep losing her over and over in my head each time I'm in her room. I miss my little sister. Maybe I should have saved her. Maybe if I didn't do what I did, she'd still be here. Once upon a calm evening, in a place not so far away, Few artists gathered to celebrate art through various performances in a live stream show. Mali was the host for the night. He was so anxious about it, so he excused himself to the restrooms to calm himself down. Little did he know, the evening was about to take a new, unfamiliar turn on him. As Mali was returning to the show, he heard someone yelling, If you move, you will die. I have a bomb on me. So nobody move. By 7 p.m., all you infidels will learn never to poison our youth with your art, said a young man with a bomb strapped on his chest. He was a terrorist. Everyone panicked. Mali hid himself. He thought of running to save his life. No, this is no time to be a cowardly liar. I have to make sure everyone is safe. It's the duty of a good host, Mali thought to himself. He called the police to tell them of what he had. The anti-terror special unit of the police informed him to stay safely hidden as they made their way to them. Mali obliged after informing them of the entire situation. It was now five minutes to 7 p.m. Mali saw a brick on the floor and decided to try using it to rescue the others. He peeped again and saw a chance. He sneaked behind him and hit his head with the brick when the terrorist was not alert. The terrorist fell on the floor, passing out. Mali opened the door and told everyone to run out. Luckily, the police were on the other side of the door. They took everyone out as the bomb squad neutralized the bomb. Everyone was safe because of Mali's carriage. The terrorist was arrested and taken to prison for his shameful act. Everyone thinks Mali was saving their lives in the face of danger. There goes our hero, savior of the innocent. Who is it? Who said that? Acha fuje buda. Utaitwa wazima alafu utaambia watu nini. The great story of zero to hero. Never about the one of you almost becoming the terrorist himself. I would never be one. I I accepted the justice passed to those who killed my family. Killing theirs in vengeance is not the way through this. I'm not repeating the cycle. From reality, no <laughs> nah, he's more coward. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I can't take this anymore. I need help. 